If I were a real sword, you'd be dead. Lord Snow here grew up in a castle, spitting down on the likes of you. Pip, do you think Ned Stark's bastard bleeds like the rest of us? Next! Well, Lord Snow, it appears you're the least useless person here. Go clean yourselves up. There's only so much I can stomach in a day. Charming man? I don't need him to be charming. I need him to turn this bunch of thieves and runaways into men of the night's watch. And how's that going, Commander Mormont? Slowly. A raven came for Ned Stark's son. Good news or bad? Both. Broke my nose, bastard. It's an improvement. <laughs> if we threw you over the wall, I wonder how long it'd take it to hit. I wonder if they'd find you before the wolves did it. What you looking at, half man? I'm looking at you. Yes. You've got an interesting face. Hmm. Very distinctive faces. All of you. And what do you care about our faces? It's just. I think they would look marvelous decorating spikes in King's Landing. Perhaps I'll write to my sister, the Queen, about it. Talk later, Lord Snow. Everybody knew what this place was, and no one told me. No one but you. My father knew, and he left me to rot at the wall all the same. Gren's father left him too, outside a farmhouse when he was three. Pip was caught stealing a wheel of cheese. His little sister hadn't eaten in three days. He was given a choice, his right hand or the wall. I've been asking the Lord Commander about them. Fascinating stories. They hate me because I'm better than they are. It's a lucky thing none of them are trained by master at arms like your Sir Roderick. I don't imagine any of them have ever held a real sword before they came here. Oh. Your brother Bran. He's woken up. <laughs> 